So it's been a little bit of time since we spoke and I thought I would do a quick little vlog to just kind of let you know what's going on with me. John graduated from law school on May 12th and he, <laughs> that's a big one, that's weird. Anyway, so I have two new purchases that I want to tell you about because I'm really excited. One of them is a Fitbit, I don't remember which model, but I've got a Fitbit coming in the mail and actually I'm probably gonna pick it up today. John and I have been really focusing on our health the last couple months. I mean, if there's one thing I've been accomplishing in the last four or five months, it's been health because I've lost about 12 pounds since January, which is awesome. It's more than half of my goal. I only wanted to lose 20 pounds, so I'm, I'm more than halfway there. John's lost like 40 pounds because dude's a beast. And we're really wanting to uh, kick it up to the next step and make it more of a lifestyle change. So we've got some Fitbits so we can pay closer attention to our heart rates and our sleep and just generally collect data. I'm really excited about that. And then the one that I'm really, really jazzed about is I ordered a Wacom Mobile Studio Pro 13 inch, which is a drawing tablet. If you're familiar with Wacom, it's a drawing tablet brand, but they also have some higher end ones that are like computers. So they have like full functioning like Windows and I can, I can run Adobe and that's coming in the mail. In fact, I'm going to film an unboxing. I'm not gonna do a review because I'm not gonna know enough to give a review, but I can at least open it and show you the process of pulling that beautiful piece of technology out and plugging it in and getting it started. It is an expensive piece of technology though because um, it's uh, about $2,500, which is more than my first car and my second car combined. And that's crazy to me, but it's all like from my business fund. So it's all like money I've made from doing art. Like I don't feel bad about it at all. I feel really excited about it. It feels like I've earned it. The reason I got this computer is because, uh, well, I have like, you're sitting right in front of it, but I have this big beast of a computer, this big desktop, and it's an iBuy Power gaming computer, and it's phenomenal for doing all the stuff I need to do, but video editing and a bunch of other things, but specifically video editing are very, very heavy for a lot of laptops, and this tablet is gonna be able to let me do drawing stuff, which I've been wanting, but also will let me do video editing without supposedly slowing down and lagging. So I should be able to take my entire operation on the go, which is great for when we go back to Wichita. And we're planning on doing a lot of traveling soon. And I wanna be able to take work with me on the road so we can have longer trips without feeling bad about not making work happen. So I'm super, super excited about this. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work on this video. So the Wacom has arrived, so uh, let's just open it. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, looking at it, I can already say I'm really glad I did not get the 16 inch because that would have been too big, I think. All right, so the first thing you see is the tablet, the pen, and then there's a compartment for um, documents and cords and stuff, I'm sure. Let's pull this guy out. Look at this. I'm just, I'm in love, what can I say? All right, so underneath the tablet, there are compartments with lots of little things. Well, let's just, let's just start with the obvious. The Wacom pen, what's the pen again? All right, so it's the Wacom Pro Pen 2. It's really light, lighter than I expected. It looks pretty bulky, but it's not, I guess. And the next big thing that I see is, um, looks like the pen holder. Looks a bit like a cigar holder it's a tube. Oh, it's got a really nice feel to it. So it's got some extra nibs in 
the tip here and then yeah okay so it slides right out and then you slide the pen inside and you can carry it like that that's kind of cool okay so it also comes with this little guy which uh, is just a thing i guess that you can attach to the computer so you have your pen resting and then the charger Ooh, that's a big bulky boy i will deal with that in just a minute and then last but not least the instructions because that's what you always grab last oh no wait these aren't instructions what are these <laughs> i got it uh these are different colored rings not sure what all that's about for personalization maybe okay cool didn't expect that now to get into the this compartment which has a bag. Oh, it's a cleaning cloth. Okay. And then the other half of the power cord and some paperwork. This feels unlike any other computer it feels it feels unreal so first thoughts just the technology just the stuff that's in front of me not the software because it's still powering up first thoughts are it's beautiful it's very simplistic and minimalistic it's got the six buttons on the left hand side and then this wheel which we'll see how that goes uh, i don't know how how it's going to be so far but it's probably going to stay on the left there's a camera on the right side front facing. There's some cameras on the back, which I haven't really explored, but everything is very sleek. The screen is very matte and not shiny, which is awesome. It makes it feel like a very expensive piece of technology, which it is. The cord is huge. Um, not a huge fan of how big it is, but it is a really powerful machine, so I guess it needs its juice, and that's how it gets it. We'll see how the pen is. I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, but overall, I'm very much liking just everything. So I also grabbed a soft case because unfortunately the Wacom doesn't come with a case of any kind. So you kind of had to get one separately. It's only $30, which, you know, when you're spending $25, $2,600, dollars ain't that bad. So this guy should be able to fit both the 16 inch and the 13 inch. It's big enough for everything. It's got a nice stiff stiff lip to it. And it's got this kind of snazzy looking like little minimalist pocket. Okay, you know, does the trick, does the job. That'll be nice for traveling. Last thing is I got a stand for the Wacom because again, it doesn't come with one, which, you know, kind of blows. You could buy one that's like the official Wacom stand, but I, I don't know, it looked kind of big and bulky. Drawing with Jazza suggested this guy. So this one was also only $30. The Kensington Easy Rider. That's everything. That's everything I got. And it's all set up or updating and doing its thing. And then um, hopefully I'll have some awesome art or something to follow up to this. So I have it, it's here, it's set up and we're good. I hope this was somewhat entertaining for you. I'm gonna go do something else now, so. does this it has this little flip i don't know why it just does whatever i have had the wacom mobile studio pro for a day and a half now and i love it it took a while to set up exactly everything the way i wanted it i kind of always forget when you get a new device that you have to set up all your preferences and that always is kind of a bummer because you want to jump right into it but now everything is set up the way i like it and uh I'm using it and I'm, I'm really liking it. It is extremely efficient. I can't wait to see what it does in the future. In fact, I'm gonna try to edit this vlog on the mobile studio so I can see how it does with that sort of heavy lifting.
Oh, and you may have noticed that I got the Fitbit and uh, I'm loving it also. I'm a real tech head right now. Anyway, that's all I really have for the vlog today. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here because I don't really know what else to talk about. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm so good at ending these. All right, so I will see you later and I hope you have a great time until then. So bye.